Well, guys, I'm finna make me a quail egg holder so I can collect my eggs over the next five to seven days and hatch out me some quail eggs. So I'm taking a egg carton that holds 24 eggs I'm cutting the top off and I'm gonna cut this little part off right here that latches your top to it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have it where you set it upside down and set your quail eggs in here because you want your pointy side down when you're saving quail eggs so it'll keep the yolk centered. And from my research, you can keep quail eggs up to seven days. And all I'm wanting to hatch out in my little incubator, it only holds 20 quail eggs. And I'm hoping I can hatch out at least 15 and raise me 15 at a time. Cause I can hatch out 15 at that point, have me 20 eggs more to go in my incubator and do a little rotation like that. But I got a little hole puncher. And I got a wood block here. I'm going to set this egg crate on here. And I'm going to just cut out holes. Them ain't cutting out real smooth. So I'm gonna take my little pocket knife here. And I guess you could just do this with a pocket knife and not even have a hole puncher. Some of them cut through where I can just punch them out. Some of them I had to use my knife on. Now them little quail eggs are to sit right there on top of that with the pointy side down. And I can set them in the house in a cool spot. And what you want to do, I'm going to put something under one end to keep them tilted. The night before I go to bed, I swap ends and tilt it the other way. That way you'll keep the eggs turning. For that week while you're gathering your eggs. I might save this and just set over the top of the eggs. Now another way you can do this guys. And I think it's going to be the best way. Is take you a little torch like this. And I got me a little. You can use anything. But I got a little copper fitting here. It's tapered. I'm going to heat it till it gets red hot. And we're going to just melt them through there. Yes. And that's the way to go. This method is a lot better. Guys, not only was that a lot quicker, that made a lot prettier holes. So I would suggest going with the heating you something up and cutting it through there. And like I said, that's just a copper fitting I had in there in the box. It's already tapered, which makes it cut. Plus it's heated. So now we're going to start saving our eggs for five days, six days. I've been getting five a day, so five days will be 25 eggs.